module 12 recording a macro and creating a button or switch as a shortcut to anything you want to do now let's understand what macro is basically macro records the set of steps that we do in order to perform a particular task in a form of a shortcut key with an option of control plus some character like we have control s to save control c to copy control v to paste similarly we can select any other character which doesn't belong to the windows shortcut and use it to create a micro so now let's learn how to create a micro see every time we enter and task over here and we need to do it auto schedule for each and every time we enter the tasks so let's create a micro which would do auto scheduling for us once we press Ctrl plus the respective shortcut allocated to it. Now to begin with, we'll first of all need to go to view over here. Then we need to go to over here macro, press record macro. Now once you're over here, you need to enter the macro name, say auto schedule, because we need to make a macro for auto schedule. So I will write over here auto schedule now let's select the shortcut key as ctrl j as it's not being used by windows now where you have an option store micro in a global file or this project global file means it would be saved across this computer or lap my laptop and i can use this micro for any of the file existing on the system while for this project is limited just to the, this project on which we are working so now let's select a global file and you can write over your description that is it is an auto schedule to ease work whatever you want if required and then press ok now note each and every operations each and every clicks you do on the screen is being recorded so please have unnecessary clicks or steps over here so now we will directly go and start the procedure with that we do to auto schedule the tasks first of all we will go on to the tasks menu then we will click over here in this box as you know to select the whole area and then we will click on auto schedule and then we will directly after our work is done we will directly go on to the view menu click over here in the macros and press stop recording so now the set of activities that we did are recorded and if you want to see the macro you can go over here into view macro you can see over here auto schedule has came over here and this is a description of auto schedule auto schedule to ease the work macro recorded on this this date and if you are further interested and want to see the code of it you can click over here and you can the view menu and you can see the code it's being generated in microsoft visual basic for applications so this is a code for the macro now let's try out how it works let's say we are adding an activity say x y and z three activities having durations of 4 3 and 2 days respectively and having predecessors as 10 11 and 12. so now you can see over here on the screen that these activities are appearing over here over here this part but they are showed as pins as they are manually scheduled if it be not an auto schedule it would have been displayed in this manner so now in order to directly convert it into an auto schedule we will not select the whole go on to task and press auto schedule we will just press ctrl j and see how it works so now you can see that this which, which was previously manually scheduled is now automatically scheduled so this is how we can record a macro and use it and ease the work because we need not to do so many steps each time we can just create a shortcut and make it do whatever work we want now let's come on to the second part that is creating a switch or a button it's a further simplified version of a macro in which we have a switch anything like this or this menu or this menu we need just to press it and the task would be done unlike in macro we need to press the shortcut that is control plus something here we need to just click on a button and it would perform a task for us now let's get started how to do it so in order to do it we first of all need to record a macro so let's again record a new macro so as you know go on to macro record macro let's name a schedule as filter as you would be as we would be using filter for that purpose and let put an shortcut key as control k so 
called control L and let's save this as a this project file now when I press ok now as you know all the steps will be recorded so we will now go over onto the view menu over here go on to the filter and we'll click on date range now here we have to enter the dates that we required to put so that it would record the whole process but note it would not record the dates that we put in it would record just the procedure so say we want to check it from 29th press ok and before say 5th and press ok now again go into the macro and press stop recording so the macro has been recorded that is set of activities or, ta or things that we have done are being recorded now to further create a button we need to go over here press view macro go on to this new one filter create on edit now in this step you need to create the center portion of the language in VBA just press ctrl C that is we need to copy it or you can copy it like this then go on to insert user form so now this is a switchboard that we get and we do need to put the switch you need to just select this command button and drag it and put it over here now you can click swiftly on it and you can edit its name as required so let's say we want to put filter or you can alternatively also directly type over here the name filter now you need to double click on it so you get this type of thing where you need to read the command but as we don't know the VBA we would just paste the command that we had already copied so right click and paste and once done you need to just press this run button so you get the switchboard over here with a switch or a button called filter so we not need to press ctrl k instead we can just press this if we want to run the filter so let's check it out let's press it so it works exactly as it should be so now again we can select the date range say it from 26 and say last date is 30 and press on ok and we can see the tasks has been filtered according to that so this is how you can create a button now again if you want to add another button you can re uh, record another macro and repeat the same process again so this is how to make or create a switch board using a switch and a button in Microsoft Project 2010